afternoon everybody and welcome. I am Mel Sol, Director of Instruction and Master Professional at the Mel Sol Golf School. We are at the Golf School facility and this month I'm talking about the same subject as I talked about last month and that's visualization. And we spoke about how powerful visualization is. So this is visualization in a bunker. And so what I do with my students is I'll sometimes put uh, a red cup and I'm, I've got a tee through the bottom of the red cup so that if it's a windy day the cup doesn't blow away. So that's sitting there. So I want to picture in my mind that that's where I want to land the ball. So I've got a very clear picture of my landing spot so that when I'm on the golf course, even though there isn't a cup there, I'm visualizing a cup and I'm imagining how hard I would swing to make the ball go in the cup. So here, this is my, my shot. I want to land the ball about where that cup is. So what I do is I'm going to dig my feet in and then I'm going to do a practice swing over the top of the ball. So I just go like that to try and feel how hard I want to swing. Once I have that, I'm going to focus my eyes about two inches behind the ball. That was not a bad shot, but I didn't land it where I wanted to land it. So this next swing, I landed that a little bit short of where I wanted to land it. So the next swing, I'm going to swing a little bit harder. So I'm going to make the same aim. I got my eye right on that red cup. Make my swing a little bit bigger. So now the ball flew the correct distance, but again, that time it flew a little bit too hard. So I'm going to do one more. So this is how you practice. You're going to take the balls and you're going to hit a little bit harder, a little bit softer. That one went to the left, so I'm going to aim slightly more to the right. Get into my position. Look at my cup. Do my practice swing up to the top. One more look at the cup. Now look at that. I missed that cup by about three inches and that ball, I left myself about a four foot putt. So there I had a good picture in my mind. So this is what practice is all about. You have a target that you want to land the ball when you're working on short game, whether it's chipping, whether it's pitching, whether it's bunker shots. Have a target where you want to land the ball and then you can teach yourself by swinging Every shot is an adjustment on the previous shot. A little bit harder, a little bit softer, a little bit more to the right, a little bit more to the left, until you can put the ball on your target. That type of practice will really improve your golf game.